We are Leslie Foget from Cologne, and uh, could you just introduce yourself, what you do in a band? I am Kia, and I sing and play the guitar. And I'm Drew, and I play the bass. <laughs> um, you are on tour now for uh, how many days? Um, <laughs> a few days. I, it's been quite a while, it's, it's been almost three weeks, weeks probably. The 8th of January. January. Yeah. So what, the 13th of February? Yeah. So two and a bit weeks. Um, uh, what was your favorite venue you played on this tour yet? Oh, I don't know. Um, Tonight? No, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> well, well, it's like yesterday yeah. in Amsterdam was, re was really cool. Oh, really it was pretty, cool, yeah. Um, yeah, we'd never played Amsterdam before. It was a really cool venue. Munich was really yeah, nice because we, we're, it's, a, it's a venue that we played once before but only got a chance to play three songs. Yeah. So we came back oh, this time and managed really to play a full set and had one of the best gigs of the tour. So that was almost yeah. like it was a really good gig and it was an extra triumph because yeah. we finally got to play it properly. It was cool. The whole tour has been great to be honest, so I think I feel pretty lucky. Yeah, <laughs> you should. Mm. Um, <laughs> what do you do on tour when you have free time? Do you do sightseeing or play games in a tour bus? <laughs> <or>? <laughs> what what depends? Yeah. We're in a van, so it's not quite as glamorous as a tour bus. Um, Drew, you, you and Lawrence and Ash have been playing games in the front, haven't you? You want to oh, oh games? Games? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. On um, well, we obviously we have a lot of drives anyway, and so far we've only had a couple of days off really on this tour. They've most of it for driving, so it's usually stuff you can do to amuse yourself in the van. So we yeah, uh, in the front row, we've been <laughs> setting ourselves for the task of uh, telling terrible, terrible jokes. <laughs> like, we like telling jokes that are so bad they've gone around the other way and are funny because they're absolutely can you tell terrible. Joe? Ah, I can't well, think of any of the top of my to, head. It's hard to explain because what they do is they set themselves themes based <laughs> on, and then they do they they're more puns than jokes. Some of them are jokes. Lawrence, Lawrence is perfecting the art of making his jokes yeah. as long winded as he uh, as he can. And some of them are great. It's the so ideal really way is to fit the it's it's a, <clears> basically it's all based around the pun. So we were doing puns of country was countries and cities was the I'm last hungry. one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Stuff, stuff like that. Yeah. And then obviously you can't just do that. That's the first. You've got to get more and more elaborate. And <laughs> the bet, I think it's better when you've always won when you've you've crammed it into the point where it only slightly works. It's almost <laughs> like you forced it. And it's, it's, um, and when it, uh, basically, I think we have the rule of whenever someone says a joke and everyone else goes. Oh, that's those are the best ones. So, yeah, and then we do. But outside of that, we do. We try and get a little bit of sightseeing in, yeah, and play games back to nature. Well, we managed to see that, um, the Eiffel Tower, didn't we? And we've seen a few bits and pieces. We went around Prague in the morning, around didn't Prague you? In the morning, yeah, yeah. So we get a okay, bit. cool. Um, do you make party after every gig? Um, so with drinking alcohol, or do you just set yourself? Like dates, like okay, I can't drink three days in a row. Let's <laughs> just party on Saturday, well, and then we. I think we have part. We chill. have party days, and sometimes they're spontaneous, sometimes they're planned. But I think every day we drink. <laughs> I think every day it depends. It, it, there's as opposed to having a drinking day and a non-drinking day. It's uh, you start it's drinking true. in the van on the way to the venue, or when you get to the venue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like percentages. It's like well, whether or, or on an amp, whether you're at uh, eleven or two. Depending, yeah. So and it's always on. It's always on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know if you heard, but in Cologne there was a carnival one week ago, mm -hmm. and we celebrated very big. And okay. my question for you were, um, do you celebrate carnival in the UK? No. This is a, a well. I don't know if there's like a, any old Christian festivals or anything, but it was something quite new to us because the first time we played in Munich. Um, we went out into the streets and it's around this time of year, isn't it? Just at the end of Lent, I think it is, it's supposed to be, that's mm -hmm. where it comes from. And uh, we walked into the streets and just everyone was drinking and dressed <laughs> yeah. up and like there was all this music on and we were like, what the fuck is going on? What's going on? Like, we just didn't, just didn't know what's happening and then someone told us what it was and, and it made more sense. But no, we don't really, we have, in England we have carnivals, like mm -hmm. we have like each town will do its own little thing sometimes, usually in the summer. But um, we don't have that one. No. So. Yeah. Um, if you had to dress up for carnival, what would your costume be? Drew. <laughs> he would, he would literally skin me. It's <laughs> <laughs> a, a slightly morbid <laughs> carnival. <Yeah. laughs> wow. <laughs> um, tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Uh, what was the worst Valentine's gift you ever got? Ever got? 
Um, I might have had a Valentine's gift. <laughs> <laughs> you probably have. I don't know. Like, like um, I, I, I can't think of the worst gift I've ever had. I remember a pretty bad Valentine's Day. It was one year, me and I think most people had girlfriends. Maybe me and Lawrence didn't. We spent the night adding people on MySpace. This is how far away it was. Adding friends on our MySpace page and talking to them because we didn't have anyone. And then we went. I think we went for a, a lonely pizza. <laughs> and came back. And so it was kind of good, but it was it was one of those it's one of those, those brilliant tinged with sadness kind of. It was it was horrible, but also quite joyful. Sometimes they're the best. Like like it's like <laughs> New Year's. Sometimes, yeah, everyone expects you to go out and do that, all the stuff on New Year's, but sometimes the sort of low-key, simple ones are nicer. Mm. But it's always, uh, it's always a gamble, isn't it? Oh, yeah. You all were paid off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got some pizza. <laughs> Pizza's always great. Um, last time we spoke, you weren't sure if you'd release a, a third conceptual album. Mm -hmm. Have you decided yet? I think we've always been made, I don't know what what we said, but I think we've always been pretty sure that we're going to do another concept album at some point. Um, I, I, we're pretty sure that our next full length album will not be um, like fully conceptual with the Grand Domina thing, but uh, it's going to be themed. I'm pretty sure I've talked about like a lot of sort of the subject matter kind of having an overarching thing. So, You know, like, uh, what was an example of an album that's a bit like that? Sam's Town. By Sam's the Town by the Killers. It's, so it's more like, uh, although it's not going to be high concept, it'll definitely still have stuff going. We can't really help ourselves, even with, our, with the three music videos on uh, for Bruises, we ended up weaving a little story between the between the three of them kind of accidentally in the end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's because we like, um, even when we're not doing conceptual albums, we still like albums and album like an album in a true almost to define it particularly now where everything's so disposable and people are like um it's, it's much more common for people to digest music in a single form or like to pick and choose their tracks i, I don't think you can really just put an album out that's just around yeah. a collection of songs even if they're not joined by a story there should be some sort of yeah. overarching theme perhaps to or whether it's whether it's a, a lyrical thematic theme or it's a, a musical sense or a combination of the two so yeah we like to make it like some sort of event even yeah. if it's a slightly small event <laughs> the grand domino concept which is obviously yeah. massive yeah. Uh, what was more fun to write the conceptual albums or the regular well it depends because it's changed a little bit like I think Bruises three of us had tracks on there didn't we Yeah, the last album, me and Luke kind of co-wrote one of the 16 tracks that we did. So yeah. I, it's been a bit quite a different writing process, to be honest. We're changing it as, as we go. Yeah, I can't really so, say whether I would enjoy it more or less. I'm so, more involved, which I enjoy. They both, both, <laughs> both have their, their sort of uh, positives and negatives, I guess. It's just uh, it's nice to do it, um, try different ways of writing to figure stuff out. I personally really enjoyed the Unbreakable Hearts um, writing process. Because I wasn't actually writing really at many full songs, or, and and not like, barely any <coughs> lyrics really. Just didn't I didn't have that in me at that time, uh, which obviously. So now it's better. I'm kind of writing full songs, which is quite nice. But I just really enjoyed the back and forth. Me and Lawrence got into like bringing a section together, and then uh, like oh, someone will have a, a section or some sections of a song, and the other one will finish it, Ooh. and then we'll work on it, demo it, and Lawrence would write the vocals to to either what he already started or my kind of tuneful mumblings over the track to kind of make that into a lyric and so it was quite nice and collaborative so that was quite fun yeah. so like I probably that's my, probably my most enjoyable writing yeah time. I, I mean I, I always get interested by questions like that because people often ask us like you're thinking of changing this what are you doing with, with this do you prefer this and I don't know the way I've seen it as an artist any kind of artist one of the the, the most fun things is exploring different stuff and I think if you're a painter you wouldn't necessarily do the same painting your entire career yeah would you you'd try different stuff so I know you might have a style but you definitely explore different stuff and I, I think it's the same with music uh, I think it's just boring if you do the same thing forever <laughs> so I think, uh, I think if you ask any if you ask any band they'll have a different way of approaching songwriting because there's an there's an infinite Uh, there's, there's essentially infinite possibilities of how you can approach it like whether it's uh, very broadly speaking starting with lyrics first or starting with music first mm. like it, 
you know, it's just uh, some try like even something as small as that can change how the song progresses. It's quite interesting. So it's nice to keep yourselves on your on your toes by trying a different, even playing it on a different instrument. You write differently mm -hmm. when you're on the piano to how you write a guitar or write in your head when you're walking around with your voice, and it completely changes for me. Anyway, it completely changes mm -hmm. how the song comes out. So we're always trying to do different things in that sense as well. Yeah, um, is there anything new coming in 2016? Well, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know yet. We've got a lot of songs, so we we need to we want to write some some more and really get a collection together that kind of that will work. But it's just getting you know being able to do it as an album. We don't quite know how we're going to do that yet. Yeah. So we, like we're working on working. On stuff, <laughs> but we don't really really don't know yeah. when how. Yeah, it's just crap. Where it will all come. Logistics, but you know, uh, uh, at some at some point it will. I, 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 you know, I really like it to come out this year. I think even if it was, it's like we'll do something. A worst, worst, worst case scenario, if an album would come out, something. Yeah, we'll get you know what I mean. Yeah. So, like the 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 aim is an album that would be absolutely lovely. Yeah. Brilliant. If not, like the worst case scenario, some singles, which yeah. still will be something. <laughs> so. um, now we got a little game. Yeah, and um, it's called also. For the other, okay. so I will give you like um, favorite food, and you have to answer for him okay. what his favorite food is. Yeah, and then we will. I will ask you what okay. his. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay so yeah. um, favorite food. Favorite uh, food, food is probably dry bread, <laughs> nothing on it, and maybe um, a bit of a bit of ham. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's not Drew's favourite food. Um, what is your favourite food? We're fucking bad at this. We've it before. Do I, should, I, should I tell you? Yeah, it's it's fame, yeah. yeah. Um, I think I'm uh, pretty good for Jaffa cakes. Jaffa cakes? I'm a fan of Jaffa cakes. I could eat a whole pack of those. See, this is where it gets really embarrassing. <laughs> Really oh, we have many so some such questions. Oh, oh nice. Okay. Yeah, um, maybe you can tell me what his favorite alcohol is. His favorite alcohol, gin. He did a video about it called My Best Day. <laughs> <laughs> on the website. Uh, oh, <laughs> so, right that now. One. so it's one zero for him. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, what is his favorite movie? I don't think Drew has a single favorite film. I know that he really likes. Star Wars, um, I don't know, uh, Empire, is that your favourite? What's the full name of the film? Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I would say if I, yeah, if I had one thing, yeah. I'd say that, yeah. Okay. Well done. You did it right, I thought you were going to slap it. I almost um, went Return of the Jedi, I was like, yeah. <laughs> I would have oh. laughed. <laughs> so, uh, what is his favourite childhood uh, TV series? Your childhood is easy. Oh, I don't really know. We've already talked about this. I don't know if I do it, um, <laughs> what he what, what, what would have watched when he was a child. He looked in, looked in the mirror and said, oh, fucking yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, I'm really going to get this wrong. Uh, um, get your own back. <laughs> I definitely not like oh, that's my favourite scene now. <laughs> yeah. Um, What's your favourite child? I don't know. Yeah, like if, well, one that sprung to mind was a show called Biker Mice from Mars. Oh, oh my god, yeah. I love it. <laughs> yeah. I should have known. <laughs> but like, to, to, to Drew's uh, defence, I have never stated that. Is yeah. I was trying to think of something like that, but I, all the ones I thought of were the ones that I watched. Yeah. Not, but that's <laughs> one um, What is his favourite book? Well, I'll make one up in my head and you've got to guess it. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, I reckon it'd be... Uh, I don't know. I know that you're into... Have you read, you've read, have you read Use of Weapons? I have read Use of Weapons. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd say that that's one of the ones he likes a lot, but I've never actually known... <laughs> It met all that or Harry Potter, any of the Harry Potters and certainly them. Didn't <laughs> That's a very broad sweep. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> <That's a good laughs> oh, um, I'd say if I had to choose a favourite book, it's probably The Hobbit. Oh yeah. It's very simple, but I read yeah, the Hobbit. The Hobbit. It's one yeah. of the first books I ever read, actually. Um, first band he has seen live. Oh, the first one he's seen live. Okay, so oh. question. So you may 
get it. There's an obvious one, but there was actually one prior. That is definitely not. There's the one I can't think of the name. You'll tell me the name, and I will know. Yeah. I, I will know what it is. But I can't remember what, what it is. Was it? Is it like, is it like rap or reggae or something yeah. like that? Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember his name though. Lee Scratch Perry. <laughs> Lee Scratch Perry. <laughs> yeah. That was the first ever live show I ever saw. And I was like, <laughs> like leather or something. But the, the first rock show was Bowling for Soup. Was it Bowling for Soup the mm. first one? Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think that was no. Or was it? We, we what the Get Happy tour. I was what no, they? No, 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 no. You no. saw them before then? No, yeah, when I was at UEA, I was much younger. Um, <laughs> or was it CKY? Yeah, was no, that. I think it was Bon for Soup. Yeah. <laughs> um, first album, Keyboard. <laughs> oh no, that's Luke. <laughs> we talked about this the other day. That's me. <laughs> no, uh, Let's say Willennium by Will Smith. <laughs> I did own that on tape. My <laughs> brother bought me. But no, I think the first album I bought physically myself was I think All Killer No Filler by Sum 41. I think that was the first album I bought. That's a good one. I can't remember, that's pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, favourite item on tour from him that oh. you can't go without? Oh, there's a few. I should get bonus points for me. <laughs> uh, well, uh, I've just got to choose between. So I'm going to lay them out. I'm going to lay some out and I'm going to try and choose one. Um, so obviously there's stuff like there's the hairspray, hair straighteners, Sally, his dirty little cushion that he puts around <laughs> his head. Um, what else is he like? I think it's going to be one of those three. I'm going to go for... Hairspray. Should have chosen Sati. Sati's your favourite. Yes, yeah. How can you <laughs> love Sati though? Yeah, Sati's yeah. very hard to describe. Me and Sati have really bonded on this tour. <laughs> just like, again to state, just Sati, like, like, he just said Sati and him bonded. <laughs> it's his cushion that ha hangs around his neck. So the only thing I can assume the bonding means is that it's, it's the green is literally just <laughs> to his neck <laughs> over the course of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's probably wearing it under this, hey, it's this fair, jumper. Yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> They're probably like up. Oh, I, I had it in my group, but yeah, I didn't go for it. Damn. Damn. <laughs> um, idol when he was young. A what, sorry? His um, idol when he was young. Idol? Yeah. Uh, depends how young. I would probably say one of the early ones was Matt Bellamy. Maybe. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you that. The fictional. I oh, think it was Quavo. No, yeah, no. Matt Bellamy no. is definitely. I'll give you that. That's that's pretty good. I was just say my the only ones I could think of when I was young were all fictional. So it'd be like, <laughs> yeah. I'd be like Alan Grant and Jurassic Park when I went. To play. <laughs> yeah, but Matt good. Bellamy, that's that's good. I yeah, was definitely a just as well. So I think we all went there after yeah. Jurassic Park. Everybody, we were, that was our era, man. Yeah. <laughs> um, his favorite song to play live. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to think. We usually all say the same thing, but he also kind of hates it because <laughs> it's hard to sing because it broke his voice once. So I'm going to say, say what you want from me, the ghost you left. Yeah, I'd oh, say that, yeah. Yeah? Say you, that. you say what you want that, from I'd me. say what you want. <laughs> yeah. It's like regret is definitely like creeping up. I, I'm really enjoying playing that. But, um, I think Say still got yeah, it's got it ticks all the boxes. Oh yes. That's the other point. So yeah, I'm done with my question. Thank you. Did I did I win? Yeah, I guess so. Yes. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> so That's do you uh, want anything to say to your fans? Hello. Thank you for it's inspiring. Thank you. Thank you for watching us in the interview. We're playing a show in Cologne in May. I can't remember the date. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought you were going to say we're playing a show in Cologne tonight. And in May, yeah. so come and see us. It's a headline show, and you're the first people to know. Booyah! <laughs> first people to know, no one Yeah, well, pretty much. Wow, pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty but much. we don't know the good day yet, but... We haven't yet, technically but... announced yeah. it yet, so yeah. it's, it's, I hope yeah. we are playing Cologne, it's quite long. <laughs> yeah, you could be a great line, have you? Uh, we could be then just write another name for it, like yeah. Munich, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. or Microsoft Sam, uh, like yeah, Munich, yeah, 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 <laughs> play another that. show in Munich, <laughs> <laughs> it would be great. Well, yeah. Thank you very much. Oh,